Good morning from Wallulup. It's Bill Quinn here and it has just gone seven bells. Then I'm having to take a deep breath because I've got about 27 different resonances that are running through my mind at the moment. Mostly Occam's Razor and mostly Scrubs television show. There's a scene, uh, what's his name, Paul Ritter? The guy that was in the remake of that show from England where the guy pretends to be gay so he can have a share, a share flat with two women. And he plays a character in Scrubs that's the father of JD, who's the protagonist of the whole thing. And after he dies in real life, very sadly, Paul Ritter does. I want to say Paul Ritter. I might have gotten the first name wrong. After he dies in real life, they incorporate that because off screen, if you like, he dies in Scrubs. And JD's telling a story. And he's telling a story about how his father, who was a stationary supplies salesperson, going around place to place selling stationary supplies and one day he was looking for a paper clip he's tearing the house apart he can't just wants one paper clip and he finally sits down amidst defeat and realizes that he's got boxes of them in the trunk of his car did I say trunk boot in the back of his car and then there's another scene in another show Sorry, the same show, but uh, sorry, the same program, but a different show, different episode, where they're trying to work out what's wrong with this bloke, and they tried everything because it's a medical show. For those who don't know, it's set in a teaching hospital in Hollywood, in Greater Los Angeles area, and they can't find out what's wrong with him. And then Johnny C. McGinley's character, uh, Dr. Cox, realises sometimes the most obvious answer is the one that's right in front of you, Occam's razor. Or sometimes the most obvious answer is the answer. I won't show you my legs because they're not looking too bad at the moment, but for the last couple of months they have been pretty, pretty bad. Up in Darwin, I used to wear shorts everywhere, mostly everywhere. And for a year and three days, I wore nothing but shorts. Down here in WA, or down here, beg your pardon, in the Perth area, the southwest, it's a bit cold for me. I was wearing jeans a lot. And what I did was, with the jeans, I wore off all the hairs on one side of my right leg. And what I didn't realise was that was the start of giving myself a very bad case of folliculitis because my legs weren't used to being marinated by jeans. They weren't used to having something rubbing against them. Little infections start around the base or the ball root, root ball, whatever you want to call it, of the hairs, and you get folliculitis. Up in Darwin, I got it on my stomach, thought I had shingles, turns out I had folliculitis. It's just about fixed, but I'm gonna spend the next few days focusing on me point of the story or the resonance that I got of course is that I wanted to grab some leaves some melaleuca or some eucalyptus and right over there there's some eucalyptus and I was going to go and grab it and as I walked over I got to around about fire when I suddenly realized why am I walking over there <laughs> I've got a whole stack in the car from Wallulup it's Bill Quinn saying, may your day be muy tranquilo. Sometimes the most obvious answer is right in front of you. And sometimes it's just a wee more complex. For the next few days, I'm going to go with the, my major swear word, with the obvious. See you when I'm looking at you. Bye for now.